Like so many artists working at this time, Cezanne too explored the theme of bathers on numerous occasions. The National Gallery's huge canvas was one of three large-scale compositions of bathers that occupied Cezanne's final years. He seems to have begun this one around 1900 and was still working on it when he died in 1906. For Cézanne, modernity means something completely different from what it means for Monet or for Seurat, because it doesn't mean a contemporary place at all. His bathers are neither specifically of a moment in terms of their appearance, nor are they specifically in a place. You, you cannot actually identify that place. You know it's in Provence, you know it's in Aix, but where it is, is a mystery. For Cézanne, then, modernity means extrapolating from the specific to something that is more wide-ranging, exactly the opposite of what it meant for somebody like Monet. This is a painting of bathers that resists the viewer's attempts to give it a narrative. If these figures are not individuals, if there is no story, if this isn't a convincing illusion of a three-dimensional space, then we can only consider what we're looking at in purely formal terms, thinking about shapes, colours, textures, light and dark. It's not entirely abstract, but it's moving in that direction. Cézanne's bathers certainly anticipated and inspired important future developments. It was exhibited in 1907, the year after his death, and both Matisse and Picasso saw it. Picasso was interested in the way that Cézanne reduced his subjects to geometric forms. He may also have noticed that some of Cézanne's bathers are shown from slightly different viewpoints. He has used multiple lines around the edge of this figure's body and has shown more of her back and bottom than you could have seen from one viewing position.